So some defenders of capital punishment, they don't base it on any utilitarian consideration. They don't base it on deterrence or anything like that. They base it on what they claim justice demands. And here, a big part of that is the idea of proportionality. And what I mean by proportionality is a serious crime should get a serious penalty. A minor, a minor crime should get a minor penalty. And to give them their due, I think we, we do tend to agree with that. We do tend to be outraged if someone commits some minor infraction and they get a serious penalty. Like there was a case some years ago of a man named John Sinclair. This is back like in the 1960s or 70s where because of two marijuana cigarettes, he got uh, 10 years in prison. You know, that, that, you know that, that's an overly harsh penalty, no matter what you think about the legalization of marijuana. Um, uh, we tend to be outraged by that. And then conversely, someone might commit some heinous crime and they get a little slap on the wrist, and we tend to be outraged by that. So it does seem to be part of our sense of justice that there should be some kind of proportion. We, we say, you know, the punishment should fit the crime.